right, thank okay. you. Take it away, Jennifer. All right, thank you. So my name is Jennifer Sparks from NAMI Sacramento. NAMI is National Alliance on Mental Illness, and I am the Youth Program Coordinator. So what my role is, is I actually work with the schools in Sacramento County to bring um, a pre presentation called Ending the Silence to the schools to help increase awareness and reduce stigma around mental health and mental illness. The other thing that I'm also in charge, is, uh, in charge of, um, if you're at all interested, we can speak after this presentation, is NAMI on campus. It's a peer-led uh, mental health group, um, uh, club, I should say, not a group, uh, that also brings awareness around mental health onto the school campuses. So today, what I decided to bring to you is um, when we're talking about strategies on how to deal with mental health um, conditions and just being able to um, deal with the stressors that might come with any kind of uh, mental health um, condition that you might have, I decided to focus on mindfulness today because in my personal my pers has really helped me in being able to deal with my own personal mental health issues and being able to stay focused and stay calm when I'm feeling the most unstable in my life. Oops. For some reason my screen isn't going. Hold on, technical difficulties. I'm gonna stop sharing for just a second and see if it will help. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, hold on for one moment. I'm going to be practicing my mindfulness in just a second. It's why as I'm dealing with the stressor of getting this going. Okay, there we go. So with mindfulness, um, we're going to be focusing on our mind and our body with, with the ultimate goal of having, having our soul feel peaceful at the end. So what is uh, mindfulness? So this is an area where I'd like you guys to go ahead and um, show um, or shout out or put in the chat what you feel mindfulness is or what your awareness is of mindfulness. Anybody have any experience or is everybody like, what the heck is mindfulness? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, uh, mindfulness is a mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment while calmly acknowledging and accepting, one, accepting one's feelings, thoughts, and bodily sensations. So there are many benefits of mindfulness. Um, some of the benefits are it helps relieve stress which we talked a little bit about before, stress is one of the, the biggest um, difficulties with mental health uh, conditions. It can actually help treat heart disease, lower blood pressure, reduce chronic pain, improve sleep, alleviate, gas alleviate gastrointestinal difficulties, but most importantly, it really helps improve your mental health. And a lot of these are physical symptoms that they described, because a lot of times when you're having stress, your, your body will respond to that stress in a physical way. So by being mindful, you can help um, decrease that stress and decrease any kind of physical symptoms that you might have. So um, I'm sorry, I just saw this, somebody um, put staying in the moment uh, from, as far as what mindfulness is um, from a participant to be aware of other people's feelings. Yes, definitely. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go over some steps of what it is to be mindful, and we're going to practice those steps. So one of the questions that was asked at, um, in the earlier presentation was um, in the recommendations about breathing. I actually do have several breathing exercises that we're going to do today. So um, the first step to mindfulness is mindful breathing. We also are going to talk about concentration, so your ability to focus awareness of your body, 
releasing that tension that might be built up, built up and meditation. So what are your guys' thoughts? Why does everybody always say, take a deep breath when you're stressed out or you're showing any signs of stress? What, what are some reasons why we might do that? I know I have an eight-year-old and we're always, we're teaching him to take his deep breaths when he gets escalated. So what, why would we do that? I don't know if, um, if our participants are only able to direct message us. Oh, okay. Um, Ricardo, can you take a look at that if you're here? Um, I did have another participant write in to relax. To relax, good. Yes, to calm oneself down is another one. Um, to make your mind clear so you can work out the steps. Yes, definitely. So the oxygen, oh, go ahead, sorry. We have more, yeah. <laughs> to, to clear your mind, to reset your nervous system. Great, yes, definitely. And then also so the oxygen can reach our brain and calm us down, to take a quick minute to calm down and think before anything bad happens. It's a very good one so that you can kind of plan out what your reaction is gonna be. So these are all really good um, reasons why we take we advise to take a deep breath. And the physical reason for that is that deep breathing increases the oxygen. Somebody mentioned the oxygen to your brain, to the brain and um, stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, which promotes the state of calmness. So breathing techniques help you feel connected to your body. It brings your awareness away from the worries that in your head and quiets your mind. So what we're going to start with is I have a little YouTube video and I apologize if it comes up with the ads. I don't have premium. Um, so uh, I don't know what the ad's going to be, <laughs> um, but this is a little breathing um, exercise video. I do encourage you guys to go ahead and do this, um, do these activities with me today so that you can get the actual physical experience of um, what it is to do deep breathing. So mindful breathing is going to be, and hopefully you're I'm a person that struggled with every aspect. Whoops. So often we're caught up in life's demands with no time to stop, but becoming more aware of your own thoughts and feelings and what's around you and accepting the present moment can help improve your mental health and well-being. Doing this affects both the mental and the physical you. Some people call this being more mindful. Focusing on the present means paying attention to your thoughts and feelings right here, right now. Breathing exercises are a great way to focus on the present and be more mindful. Doing this can also help when you're feeling stressed or anxious. This short video will take you through how to do a mindful breathing exercise. And just so Firstly, you know, settle it, into a natural, yeah, comfortable I'm not position. Sure how to change that over? Should I share my screen again? When you're ready. You can try. Yeah. Okay, so I will or stop. If you want sharing. to send me the link, I'll try or put it in the chat. Here, I'll just stop sharing um, and then start sharing again and see if that works. Can you guys see that now? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Just don't Take go to a full deep screen. breath in. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Just don't go to full screen. I think that's the point we're getting. Okay. Trouble. And a deep breath out. Breathe naturally, noticing the sensations of the breath entering and leaving the body as best you can. Allow your shoulders and neck to relax, focusing on your breathing just being aware of it. Focus on how your body feels. What sensations do you notice? Do you feel your feet on the floor or the feeling of your clothes on your skin? Take this time to pay close attention to physical sensations from the top of your head 
right down to your toes. Notice what you're thinking about right now and how you're feeling. Just take the time to notice your thoughts and feelings without judgment and without trying to change them. When you're ready, take one more breath and try to bring this awareness with you into the next moments of your day. Breathing techniques like this one can help to centre you in the moment at any time and connect you with the present, which can help if you're feeling stressed or anxious. All right, let me get my back to my presentation. All right, I know that was a little chopped up because of my tech issues, but um, does anybody want to share how that um, initial breathing exercise might have made them feel just in this moment? Felt good and relaxing? Good. I'm glad that it didn't distract too much. You got to have a little bit of relaxation. We're going to be doing a couple more breathing exercises, so hopefully by the end, um, will feel really calm by the end of this uh, presentation. So I see calm, helps think clearly. Good. All right, so these next ones, oh, um, at first it was relaxing, but then I got annoyed by thinking about the sensation of the clothes on my skin. That's actually a good point. Um, that is, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Um, it's actually perfectly normal um, to get distracted by other sensations. And uh, so I'm really glad that you put that out there because what happens is our mind, when we're trying to be calm um, and do our breathing, our mind gets distracted by our other sensor, sensory things going on as well. So um, I'm sorry that that made you annoyed though. <laughs> So this next one, um, I have three different slides that have different types of breathing um, um, strategies. And the way that these work is their visual way of being able to um, be able to focus on that breathing. And so I picked three different styles because um, everybody has different styles in the way that they like to calm down and deep breathe. So this first one, if you if you want, you can point to the middle of your screen um, where you're seeing this and then follow the circle. And as you follow the circle, you're gonna take a deep breath in. And even if you're not pointing, go ahead and take a deep breath in with me. And then breathe out. And then go back and do this three more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then one, two more times, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And I got these um, images from a website called Go Zen. They, this is another one. Um, I just liked the um, star breathing. It just was another fun, um, Oh no, someone says that they felt it felt good at first, but now they feel tired. Well, that's that's because that's what's happening is your um, oxygen's getting into your brain and it's just calming you down. And that, um, so if you're feeling too tired to continue doing um, the rest of the breathing exercises, by all means, don't do them. Um, <laughs> I don't want to put you to sleep. Um, there are a lot of different exercises in here. And uh, I just wanted to give you some variety. Um, but if you, again, if you feel like you're going to go to sleep, let me go ahead and pause on the actual doing the breathing exercise. Um, so this is the same kind of thing where you would just follow it around with your finger and do the breathe in and breathe out. And then this one actually has a hold on it. Sometimes um, it gives you a deeper um, experience to be able to hold your breath and then let it out. So then um, you would just go through those. And then this one, I, I picked this one because I personally love the ocean. So I thought it would be fun just to have one that looks like the waves. Same type of thing where you're gonna start at the beginning, you're gonna breathe in, you're gonna hold like you're at the top of the wave. 
and you'll breathe out, breathe in, hold the top of the wave, breathe that, breathe out, and then breathe in and breathe out again. So why does it matter? Oops. Um, why does, or what does it mean, sorry, to be um, concentrating while you're being mindful? What do you guys think that that means? Oh, and I like how somebody put it, breathing kind of sounds like the ocean when you're breathing. That's true, very good. So what does it mean to be concentrating when you're being mindful? I know that when I'm trying to be mindful, thoughts keep racing through my mind. And so what you do is you acknowledge the thoughts are there, but then you release them and try to focus on good. Somebody said, so, so you can focus on staying mindful and being in this moment versus trying to problem solve your finances or the problems with your family or anything like that, just being in this particular moment. So you want to focus on yourself. Somebody says, focus on yourself and the things around you, note the thoughts, et cetera. Very good. So you want to acknowledge that they exist, but you don't want to focus on the thoughts that are bombarding your mind. For just focus on the here and the now. Someone says, um, you are focused on yourself and your surroundings. Very good. So mindful concentration means applying focus and awareness to everything you do. Focus on the task at hand and recognize and release internal and external distractions as they arise. And in this way, mindfulness helps increase effect effectiveness and de decrease mistakes in your daily life. And even it can enhance creativity. So this next one, I'm not sure um, if the feeling of the sensations was something that was um, annoying. I'm not sure how this one's gonna go, but this is another exercise on how to be mindful. If you're finding yourself in a mental health crisis or just an emotional crisis, or you're just really stressed out, this is another way to bring yourself back into the now and really focusing on what is going on around you. So for example, name five sensations of things that are going on around you. So for me, my, my five sensations are, I have sweaty palms because I'm a little nervous, um, but I feel the air conditioning hitting my, my shoulders because I'm wearing a tank top. Um, I have my pen here, so I feel the soft grip of the pen. Um, I have my, my fake nails, and so as I can um, you know, have the tap of my fingernails. Uh, and then the smooth surface of my table. Four things that I can hear um, are gonna be things like, I, I heard, just heard a car drive by outside. I can hear my family talking downstairs. I can hear the hum of my computer. Um, I can hear um, the birds chirping outside. So these are all just, just bringing you from your internal stress, bringing you back into a, more of a calm, um, mindful state. So, um, and sometimes it's hard to figure out what those things are. It's like, what four things can I hear right now? Well, even if it's a challenge, it means that you're still shifting your focus. So it's okay if you can't figure out four things that you can hear right now, because maybe you are in a really quiet space. But at the same time, at least you're not focusing on that stress anymore. And name one thing that you can taste is always a funny one to me because I'm like, is it the coffee that I drank earlier today? Is that what I taste right now? Because otherwise I don't really know that I don't have food with me. So I don't have any um, other tastes that I could think of right now. So this next part, what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to actually um, walk you through a progressive muscle relaxation um, I'm going to try to play some music in the background, so if um, you can't hear it, let me know. Can you guys hear that? Yes. Okay. It's not too loud. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so what I want you to do is get in a comfortable position and I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to scan your body from head to toe. And what that means is really just like looking for any tense, um, tenseness or anything that's going on in your body that you might be holding on to stress. Notice any sensations. So that's just getting you prepared for this um, relaxation step that we're gonna do. So um, I'm gonna have it up on the screen, um, but your eyes will be closed. So don't worry about what I'm, I'm just gonna read to you what you need to be doing. So the forehead, squeeze the muscles in your forehead holding for 15 seconds. Feel the muscles becoming tighter and tenser. Then slowly release the tension in your forehead while counting for 30 seconds. Notice the difference in how your muscles feel as you relax. Continue to release the tension until your forehead feels completely relaxed. Breathe slowly and evenly. Now for your jaw. Tense the muscles in your jaw, holding for 15 seconds. Then release the tension slowly while counting for 30 seconds. Notice the feeling of relaxation and continue to breathe slowly and evenly. Your neck and shoulders. Increase tension in your neck and shoulders by raising your shoulders up towards your ears and hold for 15 seconds. Slowly release while you count for 30 seconds. Notice the tension melting away. Now your legs, slowly increase the tension in your quadriceps and calves for over 15 seconds. Squeeze the muscles as hard as you can. Then gently release the tension for over 30 seconds. Notice the tension melting away and the feeling of relaxation that is left. Your feet and your toes. Slowly increase the tension in your feet and toes. Tighten the muscles as much as you can. Then slowly release the tension while you count for 30 seconds. Notice all the tension melting away. Continue breathing slowly and evenly. All right. So that exercise is something you can do anywhere, anytime, in the car, in the, at school, when things are getting a little bit too rough and you're getting really stressed out. And the whole purpose of that particular exercise is to release the tension in your body so that you can get back to being mindful and de-stress your body.
How does everybody feel? Awesome, I got a really good, yay. Yeah, yeah, good. I, I feel good, awesome. All right, so this last one that we're gonna do is, um, it's a five minute meditation. Someone's gonna go to sleep. <laughs> um, that was a weird feeling, weird in a good way. I do not know how to explain it. I've never felt like that before. Wow, that's exciting. New, a new experience for you today. I'm really glad it was good and weird in a good way though. <laughs> All right, so this last one is gonna be a um, meditation exercise. I chose a five minute one. It's, um, I don't necessarily need you to see this one. So I would encourage you to go ahead and maybe just keep your eyes closed and stay in the relaxed um, position. I did a five one minute one because if you're not used to doing meditation, um, it's really hard to uh, acclimate and get yourself um, get your mind quiet. So I didn't want to have you guys sitting here for too long um, if you're having a hard time getting your mind quiet. So this is gonna and go ahead and continue your deep breathing um, and keep your body relaxed. Let this soft mineral ah. melt in your mouth to rebuild your gums and teeth. Didn't happen before. Yeah, there we go. Begin by getting into a comfortable seated position. Let your sit bones feel balanced on either side. Spine is tall and straight. Shoulders rolled back slightly to open up your heart. Let your palms rest in your lap, facing open. And lovingly close your eyes. Begin to tune into your breath. Feeling a sense of expansion as you breathe in. Feeling your stomach and rib cage expand, and as you breathe out, feeling a sense of release. Belly and rib cage expand as you breathe in, and contract as you breathe out. Throughout the course of this meditation, if you ever find your mind wandering, that's perfectly okay. Just return to your breath and the words you are hearing. Allow yourself to welcome in positive energy into your room. Invite the positive energy to purify, cleanse, clear, and remove any stale, stuck, lower energy. Allow yourself to feel the energy. You may feel a lifting, a rising, a cleansing. Just stay connected to this feeling. start to notice a change in the feeling of the energy in the room around you. With this change, invite even more energy into the room, welcoming in this loving, positive energy. Notice the feelings you're experiencing intensifying. Everything is being lifted up. Your vibration is rising. 
The vibration of your room is rising, and you feel this happening. Now, invite this energy inside your own body. Feel it enter in, sending loving, positive energy all throughout your physical being. Tune in to the sensations this creates. Feel your energy rising, the frequency lifting up. You may stay with this feeling for as long as you wish. And whenever you're ready to end this practice, do so by really taking your time. You can roll your shoulders, wiggle your fingers and toes, and as you slowly open your eyes, carry this uplifted positive energy with you for as long as you can throughout the rest of your day. All right. So as you get more practice with uh, meditation, you could do, do it for longer. Some people do it for hours. Um, I used to belong to a meditation group um, that we would go for about an hour, hour and a half. And um, it was one of the things I think probably really saved me during my dark times. Um, when I was at my worst mental health um, crisis, and so I highly recommend, even if it's just for that five minutes, I found this on YouTube just by researching five minute meditation exercises. And um, you can just pop it on your phone anytime you have a few minutes and go ahead and recenter yourself and um, just try to be, bring yourself back to being mindful in that moment. And there's all different types of meditation. So if you need something to help you fall asleep, or if you need something to help you clear your mind, um, it, just look for specifically uh, those keywords when you're looking for it, um, the meditations. So now that everybody's hopefully ready for a nap, <laughs> what I wanted to leave you with um, is this quote that I found that I really like. Um, it says, what you think you become, what you feel you attract, and what you imagine you create from Buddha. So um, that's the end of my slideshow today. Um, I do uh, welcome any questions or comments that you may have um, before we end our presentation. So um, you can either call them out or put them in the chat box and um, I'll make sure to try to answer anything that you have for me today. It was definitely a weird in a good way. Um, yeah. At, at first, like I, what I noticed before we actually started doing these uh, exercises was I did notice that my heart was going like what felt like a mile a minute. Uh -huh. And then at the end of just this one right now, uh, that went away. Oh, awesome. And then, and then same thing with uh, my uh, palms. Like I was noticed that I was like, it's all sweaty and was uh -huh. weird. And then now it, I didn't have that. And so it was definitely a, it was definitely a good experience for me anyway. Of Yay. Going through well, this. Thank you for so, sharing that. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anyone else? Got a wow in the comments. Yay, that was amazing. And I got to thank you for the breathing methods. You're welcome. And then the biggest thing I think is just, I want to leave you with is that if you, if you just, you need to make the time. 
we get so frazzled with our day-to-day responsibilities and lives and stuff like that, that we forget that we do have five minutes to be able to sit and deep breathe or do a meditation um, or do a, um, you know, the uh, tension releasing exercises. We have the time. We just have to make the time. Jen, can you speak a little bit to if, if you've experienced this? I experienced this and I think it took me a long time and I still don't have it figured out. That's the thing. That it's <laughs> okay. always a work in process, no matter how old you get, that I am in the cycle of I'm too busy to take the time to do meditation or to breathe or to take that time out. Uh-huh because I'm too, I'm too busy, but then I feel extra frazzled and busy because I don't take that time. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so, so yeah. I, yeah, go ahead. I was just saying, I definitely have experienced that. One of the things that, um, with my mental health, um, condition is I've had to learn that it's, that it's okay to do self-care, which is what it is, is to stop and do meditation or do your deep breathing. It is self-care. And, um, I think once I became, um, less guilty about that, cause I think that we have a tendency to feel that we shouldn't be t- doing stuff to take care of ourselves because we're going to take care of everybody else first. Um, I think once you let go of that, um, that guilt, <laughs> at least that's how it was for me, it's, it was really easy for me to find, find that five minutes in my car before I go inside or, uh, you know, before I come home um, uh, or, you know, before I go into work. Um, so I think it's a matter of practice too. That's the other thing. Um, one of the strategies that I used to do that might be helpful in, in the crazy busy world (laughs) is to make, um, an appointment with yourself and put it on your calendar and just say right now at 10 30, before I go into my next meeting, I'm going to take five minutes. And just make it a priority. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yes, that's that is as Ricardo said, it's very good advice. Especially, I know a lot of our participants are teens and still in high school, uh-huh. and I know that there's a lot of there's so much pressure. Oh yeah, know, with um, school and, and getting everything done. And so right, I'm sure that even putting it on your calendar. Yeah, but make a date with yourself. That's what that's another way I used to say is I make a date with myself. Um, and you might have mentioned it, but if um, our attendees wanted to find other resources, is there on the NAMI website, is there a way, are there a list of resources like this? Um, are the like resources like meditations and stuff like no, that or breathing techniques? Um, not that I'm aware of, um, a lot of this stuff, I just did, um, just some research, just, there's a lot of information out there on, on the internet. So, um, I would just do specific Google questions and just say, you know, breathing techniques or, cause there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff out there, recommendations. Okay. Well, if anyone here is having trouble finding something that seems right, that is something we do at the library is help oh. find the information that you're there looking you for. So you can always reach out to us directly too. Perfect. All right. So any, any last questions for Jen before we conclude today? Ah, thanks Ricardo. Ricardo just put a link in. There must be some resources on our Okay, well, I think that is probably it. So thank you right. so much, Jen, for sharing those techni- techniques. You're welcome. Us. And thanks for having me today. I really appreciate it. Um, so one last time, I'm going to put our- um, Thank you, Monica. <laughs> our website here in the chat. So if you are interested in either re-watching this second part of the session today or any of the previous workshops over the last four weeks, they are all on the website. We still have uh, room for next week's sessions. You can sign up there as well. And just a really big thank you. I'm 
so excited to see so many people attend every week or almost every week. And so I really hope that you're getting a lot out of it. It's been really nice to see familiar names, <laughs> at least. Okay, Monica. I am so excited next week. It's going to be about time management, so don't miss it. Once again, thank you for attending the Adult 101 Life Skills for Teens, Mental Health and Stress Management with Sacramento Youth Mental Health and NAMI Sacramento. This workshop was made possible by funding from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. Please take a moment to fill out the survey linked in the chat so we can continue offering programs like this in the future and learn how to make them better. And if you're not signed up for the up last upcoming session, please check out our webpage at saclibrary.org backslash adult 101. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day.